First of all, thank you much for speaking to CNN News 18. I want to begin by asking you that just yesterday, the NCRT, including yourself, made a clarification that a lot of the chapters that are under news, uh, in news, including a chapter on Mughal courts, for example, they haven't been dropped for, uh, from history books. But if you look at the revised books that have come out after the rationalization that was done purely for COVID reasons, these books do not have these chapters. So effectively, they have been cut. Can you give us a reasoning as to why, for example, this Mughal Courts chapter has been cut out of history books? Yeah, I, I have already uh, several times repeated this, that uh, due to COVID, uh, content load has to be reduced. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if there were two chapters and the experts scrutinized the books, and content load, in, in order to reduce the content load, they kept the more extensive and knowledgeable chapter and they recommended that one chapter, if you deduct it, remove it, there is going to be no difference because both the chapters are focusing on 16th and 17th century Mughals. Okay. Mm. So, more or large, the chapter which is more inclusive, more knowledgeable, that chapter has been kept. Okay. That is the criteria of the experts committee suggested by them. Okay. No, but the reason yeah. I'm asking you this question is also because uh, these were cuts that were uh, supposedly made to lower the burden on students during the COVID period yes. and because of the, you know, uh, the burden on them because of those particular circumstances. So why have you decided yes. to not bring back these chapters? What's the reason now? Means I have, I have already clarified that now Last year, they were, the chapters were deleted. And this time, we are starting work on uh, NEP 2020. So this is a small period. You know, for just six months or one year, we will not reverse the whole exercise again. Na? That is the question. Since you understand that next year onwards, we are going to prepare new books as per NEP 2020. Our NCF for school education is almost finalized. It will be out any day. And based on that, the syllabus and test, book, test books committees will be constituted. So they will take care of the uh, books from class 3 to 12th. The new books will be prepared. For mm -hmm. foundational stage, already books have been prepared. And they are going to be given to the press for printing. Very soon, the books for class 1 and 2 are coming out. And uh, learning teaching material for foundational stage up to Balbatika, that has already been uh, launched by the uh, Honorable Minister, Education Minister, uh, Government of India. So, mm -hmm. for this small period, the whole exercise could not be reversed. Okay. This is very simple. Yes. Okay. Can I also come to the other uh, aspect of some of these revisions or changes or cuts that have been made? And one of this, uh, mm -hmm. one of them is about uh, Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, the circumstances mm -hmm. of his assassination and also what, what was the aftermath of his assassination. So, for example, yes. references to Nathuram yeah. Godse, what he did, uh, and the fact that he was a Brahmin from Pune have been changed. Uh, mm -hmm. The fact mm -hmm. that there was a mention that Gandhi's assassination had, quote-unquote, almost a magical effect and organizations which were, quote-unquote, communal were banned or communal politics lost mm -hmm. its way. Those mm -hmm. mentions have also mm -hmm. been deleted. So could you give me hmm. an idea as to why this has been done? Because this is not about chapters I, being cut. I, this is about I, yeah, yes, 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 yes. Then, then again, the experts thought that if we are going to reduce the content load, then question must be reduced. The minimum question must be asked. If you reduce, if you deduct some part, if you reduce that, remove that, then unnecessary one or two questions may not be asked to the students for the examination. That might have been the rationale because the, this was again the expert committee opinion, not any other else. Okay. So reducing but, content load in all form, not only chapter, but if there are certain items which can invite more questions, then they also were taken into care and that's why these questions, the, 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 such parts were also deleted. And it is not only for it is not only for history and political science book. Across this all books, you know, all classes from mm. six to twelfth, rationalization process has been done. It has been done for mathematics books. It has been done for chemistry books, for physics books, for soci sociology books, for commerce books, 
And uh, why why only these two three things are being raked up? Why okay. other, 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 the, 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 the basis is very robust, logic is very robust that students were to be you know relieved from the content load and they are and, and not only to, at this level but at university level also all the universities they their board of studies recommended for the reduction of the content up to 25 percent or 30 percent all the university did that exercise it is not only that ncrt did that exercise all the university did that exercise okay but can i just ask you also for example in context of the gujarat 2002 riot now after the last few references to gujarat riots have also been purged from the history book and in this case the yeah. class 12 political science textbook and the sociology textbook uh, people logic ask, is the same the, logic, no, but logic people will ask you, the question you, that you look at the rss hmm. reference you look at the hindu extremism reference and you look at the gujarat hmm. riot reference there is a pattern emerging hmm. on what is being purged how would you answer that question you know you know i am answering you the standard answer is that this is this was done under the process of rationalization whatever pattern is emerging that pattern was emerging because of uh, consideration that not to invite maximum questions from the students at that stage so that was the pattern and that was the rationale and it was uniformly adopted not only regarding political science i have I have quoted so many, you know, books from where the ch chapters or the part of the chapters have been reduced. Then, the, the, without any logic or uh, any any critical analysis, experts not recommend anything. They recommended, they examined, they scrutinized, and they found that if this is not being taught, no harm is going to be caused to these students, or th it is not going to minimize their uh, knowledge. So, whatever was felt necessary, that was done by the experts committee, and that uh, NCRT implemented that. it is simple okay but if you are saying that this was done with to to make sure that questions are not invited by the students uh, why is that i am not quite understanding from that from the students from the students yes what kind of questions are you talking about sir means uh, any type of, if you if you add one para certainly uh, expert may examination examiner may find questions from there also so question will be maximum if content load is minimum the questions will be minimum so that was the intention that the content load must be minimized and if okay. the content load is minimized the questions will also be minimized under that process it was done okay can you give me an example of any other such revision that has been done that counters the uh, the the feeling that this is not being done as saturation of textbooks that's yeah, the term that are, is used are, often so if you are saying that no, this pattern no, that, that is that, emerging is purely that, coincidental that, that, that could is, you give me another no, example no, that is, yeah there are lot of examples you like? find in hindi books you find in you you find in hindi books people are saying why you are you are not teaching nirala do you nirala is being taught his, his one poem is taught another poem has been removed then there are ancient indian history you see in ancient indian history sources of ancient indian history has been deleted one page two page have been deleted then another another chapter hunting and gathering economy from there also few lines have been removed lot of things are there you can just find out in our website there are details details of the Uh, such type of details where the not only chapters but the few sentences or paragraphs or box items have been removed so not only this but from ancient to modern time everywhere it has been done and not only in history but in uh, all sorts of you know test books somewhere the paragraph has been deleted because that paragraph could have invited two questions sometime to minimize the burden boxes have been removed because those boxes also contain matter where student could have uh, gone for further study so th this has been done you need formally and if people are not seeing that they are finding fault only in one part that is another problem that we cannot answer for uh, there is a reference to emergency 2 uh, which has been deleted from mm. chapter 6 the challenges of cultural diversity mm. from the class 12 yes. sociology textbooks indian society mm. so i just want to understand mm. i understood the references you gave about gandhi's assassination mm. the rss being banned mm. and gujarat mm. riots mm. but don't you think emergency mm. is a very important part of modern indian 
history uh, oh, is you, this you, also you, something you, that you doesn't see, impact the knowledge of, you, a, you, of a young student no no it is not question of my thinking or your thinking i have i have just pointed out a standard procedure that was adopted and that was the critical analysis of the experts on the basis of which whatever they recommended that has been deleted why should we think and why should others think i'm trying they, to understand my, from you you are my, the chief my opinion what's your opinion my opinion about is the fact that emergency no, no, I, is not being talked about I, in our history book i am not i am i am not going to give you any personal opinion since i am mm-hmm. a professional person i am i am a responsible person and uh, responsibly ncrt acts responsibly whatever opinion was given by the experts that has to be adhered and that has to be welcomed and that has been accepted and that is being expected and this 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 debate is unnecessary as of now because last year ncrt for 3 months gave each and every explanations not only to print media but electronic media also and for 3 months everything was explained very crystal clear and it was accepted by the country by the people and it was a welcome step students went there to, to their classes they studied that material they have taken their examination so this controversy is you know irrelevant i think it is ye gair wajib hai this is not required at all uh you mentioned yeah. how a new curriculum is anyways going to come and we're all looking forward to that the education minister had also touched upon it quite recently yes yes, yes. now yes. largely the criticism of india's history books is that it was quite one sided for example if you talk about the mughal history it only showed the good mm. seldom showed the very bad aspects and it almost whitewashed the mughal period similarly for example if i take the example of mahatma gandhi's history and assassination the reference to the fact that him batting for hindu muslim unity angered certain quote and quote hindu extremists has been removed but why not show what gandhi said on the matter of hindu muslim unity versus what were the prevailing realities wouldn't that be a better way to show history than to either purge something okay. or to have something okay. completely okay. one sided okay okay now you th- think that since we are going to implement the nep and all books will be prepared afresh okay so let the time come you will find your answer <laughs> are you confident or can you for the viewers give any confident that the criticism of india's history books that they are not reflecting india's true history I, whether again, it's the mughal period again. or the independent indian history sir uh, could you just give our viewers some some thoughts some context and some idea of whether the history Madam, books are going now, to be revised now, in a manner that is going to bring some just, conclusion to these debates just just listen just listen if we know about nep it speaks of rootedness in india cultural rootedness experiential learning and address the local issues also so keeping in these points in view every not only history but all subjects will be taken care and uh, again the experts will be invited expert committee syllabus and test book committees will be there and experts will certainly take note of the ncf nep 2020 and on that basis whatever recommendations are there the learning teaching material will be prepared are you, say, say. Sir, can, are you saying that the new history books are going to be completely different and a refreshing change from what has been taught to students so far uh, means uh, i have very clearly pointed out that whatever nep requirements on that basis ncf will be there and on the basis of ncf our test books and syllabus committee will take note of this and they will prepare those those books certainly they they will address these issues which nep is speaking and directing to us it is our duty to adhere to the uh, recommendations of the nep and execute the policy for that whatever will be considered fit that will be done 